So let's read the question. How far should an object be placed from the pole of a converging mirror of focal length 20 cm to form a real image of the size exactly one fourth the size of the object? So let's begin guys. So let's first read this question very very carefully guys. How far should an object be placed? That means we are asked object distance. I repeat, how far should an object be placed? That means the unknown over here is object distance. So I'll write it down over here. That is object distance, right, which is denoted by u, is basically a question mark. From the pole of a converging mirror, guys. What is a converging mirror? A concave mirror of focal length 20 centimeter. So we're given the focal length. So I'll write it down over here. That is focal length of the mirror, focal length which is denoted by F. Now, this is given to us as 20 centimeter. Now, what type of mirror is it, guys? Converging is basically a concave mirror. Concave mirror focal length is very good, negative. So, minus 20 centimeter. Okay, to form a real image of the size exactly one fourth the size of the object. So in this case, we're given the magnification, guys. See, we want to form an image of the size exactly one fourth the size of the object. So what is given to me over here, guys, is basically height of image, right, is basically one fourth the size of height of object. See, read this carefully, guys. We want to form a real image of the size exactly one fourth the size of the object. So whatever is the size of the image, it is one fourth the size of the object. Do you agree? So if I bring this over here, from here we get HI by HO is 1 by 4. What is HI by HO guys? It is basically magnification. Do you agree guys? Now be very careful over here. We want a real image. Real image means magnification will be negative. So we'll put a minus sign over here. I repeat guys, we want an image which is 1 fourth the size of the object. So take HO over here, HI by HO is nothing but 1 by 4. What is the ratio HI by HO? It is nothing but magnification. So we're given magnification is 1 by 4. But because we're given a real image is formed, magnification is negative. Is this clear? So don't forget this part guys. So I hope this part is clear. So I write down over here. That is magnification which is denoted by M is basically given to us as minus 1 by 4. So I hope it is clear guys, the height of the image has to be one fourth the size of the height of the object. So HI by HO is 1 by 4, which is magnification because it's real image, hence minus 1. So basically U, F and M are the three parameters, right? Of which U is unknown to me, only F and M are given to me. So now what do I do guys? Can I apply the mirror formula? 1 by V plus 1 by U is 1 by F? I can't guys, neither U is known to me, nor V is known to me. Can I apply the magnification formula? Minus V by U. Again, V and U are known. So what do we do? In this case, guys, remember, whenever magnification is given to you, start over here. Right, guys? So see, I'll show you how to do this. So because magnification is given to us, we'll start from here. So first write down the formula. That is magnification is, see, at least we are talking about U and V. So write in terms of U and V. It is minus V by U. Right, guys? Now let's substitute the value. What is magnification? Minus 1 by 4. So minus 1 by 4 is equal to minus v by minus u. So let's just simplify this guys, minus minus cancel. So 1 by 4 is equal to v by u, cross multiply. So from here we get u is equal to 4v. Box this guys. So this is one relation between u and v. Is this clear? Now, again we're going to use this relation in mirror formula. Now write down mirror formula. So we have 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. So let's plug in the values. 1 by v, I do not know, plus 1 by u. Now instead of u guys, we'll use 4v over here. So 1 by 4v. So I'll use a different color. So basically this value we have substituted over here. Is this clear? Is equal to 1 by f. Now we've already given the focal length as minus 20. I repeat guys, all I did was we're given u is 4v, I substitute here. So now v and 4v, what is the LCM? 4v. 4v divided by v, 4 into 1 is 4, plus 4v divided by 4v1 into 1 is 1. Take the minus 1 on top, minus 1 by 20. So from here we get 5 by 4v is equal to minus 1 by 20. I'll copy this over here. So here we get 5 by 4v 
is equal to minus 1 by 20. Let's cross multiply. So 4v into minus 1 minus 4v is 5 into 20. That is 100. So v from here is 100 by minus 4. So from here we get v is equal to minus 25 centimeter. Is this clear guys? So we've got the value of v. Now what do we have to find? We have to find u now. What is u? 4v. So done guys. So see u is equal to 4v. That is equal to 4 multiplied by what is the value of v we just got? Minus 25. So put it over here guys. Minus 25. So from here we get u is equal to 4 into minus 25 minus 100 centimeter. So this over here is the answer. So what is the object distance guys? It is 100 centimeter. So I run over here. This implies object should be placed. Object should be placed. 100 centimeter minus sign means to the left of front 100 centimeter in front of the mirror in front oblique left of the mirror so this over here guys is the answer so it was a slightly tricky question guys see what was the main trick in this question we are given only focal length and magnification so whenever you're given only focal length and magnification see generally in all the questions between u and v one of the two will be given to you if neither u nor v is given to you then you have to get an equation between the two how do we get the equation between the two using magnification and mirror formula so because magnification is given to you always start with magnification so i started with magnification we got a relation between u and v now we use this relation between u and v in the mirror formula over here is this clear guys I repeat basically, right? So this over here was step one and this over here was step two. So from here, basically guys, when we solved, we got the value of V. Once you get the value of V, substitute over here. What is U? Four times V, na? We got V from here, so 100 centimeter. Is this clear? So remember guys, whenever you have a question where focal length and magnification is given to you, start by magnification, get a relation between U and V, use this relation in the mirror formula. You'll get whatever you want. Is this clear guys basically there are two unknowns in this question u and v and two formulas so two equations two unknowns is this clear that's how we solve this question so this is how you solve such type of questions